All right, so if a local drug dealer nigga got power, how much more the men that have the fathers or what they put their trust in? They wholly dependent upon the heavenly father. We're going to get that power, man. It ain't nothing nobody going to do to be able to stop us. Because once we obtain that power, we take it shit over. See, it's going to talk about the saint shall take the kingdom. We're going to take, we take this shit by force. You see? But it all starts with the word of the heavenly father. Right? Ecclesiastes 8 and 4. Where the word of a king is. Who's the king? What? Inside joke. Who's the king? Hamashiach, right? Because the, the Lord's name ain't Christ. Most high Christ blessed. That ain't the name of the Heavenly Father's beloved son. Or the Heavenly Father. The name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, man? Not fucking Grand Mahkamare. Not Barbala. I forget what he said the name of the, the Lord was. To the, to the, to the, to the dumb. Hell, the parts of the boy. <laughs> Yeah, man, the soccer they did that last night. That shit was funny as hell. Toodle did it. Toodle dumb, man. You see? So it all starts with the word, man. So I got, I'm going to get this precept in, uh, in GNT and, and, and see what it says in uh, Psalms 110. Because we're going to get that power. And no, we, look, what's the heavenly, because cause it was a point of time where we had physical power. You see? We used to be on a level, but the, the heavenly father bowed us down you see because if we would still had you know we were still enabled with that power in no way we would have been into slavery man so the lord had to just like when you watch we always mention these movies why because these movies they form a mental image you gotta imagine you gotta be a seer you gotta imagine these things when you go to the word imagine it means form a mental image of so you gotta form a mental image of how the sons of the heavenly father used to be. Our name is Israel that translate in the Hebrew, Yashar Allah, he prince power. We are prince of the power, man. You see? So, right, the heavenly father had to dial us down, man. Otherwise, right, because the prophecies had to be fulfilled. We had to go into slave. We had to discontinue from our heritage. You think if we had spiritual power, we would let a nigga take us down? <laughs> Even if we were being wicked niggas, you think we would let a nigga take our land and take us down? And especially Esau Edom, the so-called white man. You think we would have let this motherfucker take us down? You gotta be kidding me. But the prophecies had to be fulfilled, man. You see? The world don't use the word power in the GNT. Cause I'm, I'm on a strictly, you know, focusing on the on the word power, man. You see? <clears throat> Let me see what it's saying. Luke 10. And this a uh, this a uh, part two of the lesson I was doing. So you know, we, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's all this is through the spirit. Cause I was meditating on the fact that we do have power, man. We got power. That it's gonna manifest to the point where we gonna be able to, you know, uh, 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 uh one shall chase a thousand. You see? Because the Heavenly Father is going to turn us back up. The Heavenly Father had to dial us down so the prophecies could be fulfilled. Okay? And now with the end of those prophecies, the Heavenly Father is going to what? He's going to turn us back up. Right? He's going to put us on God mode. You see? You know? Uh, 10, 10 and uh, I'm just reading in the KJV because sometimes, even though we read it in these other translations, ain't nothing like the KJV. You see, and then like the KJV, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go to Luke 10. And this is our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach speaking to the disciples, man. To his disciples, <clears throat> Luke 10 and 19. Well, when, you, when we read it, it say the happy results, right. Right, bro. They say the happy results, right? So you see it. So there's Luke 10 and 18. And then it says uh, verse 10, 19. It said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So the Heavenly Father equipped us with, 
which is this is this word. The word of the Lord is quick, it's powerful. That it be two-edged sword. Don't need, we ain't gonna need no physical swords in the kingdom. You see? We may we, according to the scripture, we're gonna have swords, but we it's, it's not a necessity, man. We ain't gonna need no weapon. That's why we're gonna burn all the weapons up. That's what that's for like 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 Matt Nito saying in motherfucking X-Men, you homo sapiens are your guns. You see? That's what mere mortals need. They need weapons and shit like that. We don't necessarily need weapons, but we're going to be equipped with them. Like the chariot, those those weapons. Bro. You see? And I ain't saying we don't need the chariot, but... Cause <laughs> but the, 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 the point is that we don't need physical weapons. Even our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. When, 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 he, when he make his second return, his second coming... Pursuant to the scriptures, say it as the 13th chapter. He ain't gonna pick up sword nor weapons of war, none of that shit. He ain't gonna pick. Let's see what that say in the GNTA. Uh uh, because brothers know it in the KJV, say it as the 13th chapter. Let me see. Let me see what it says. Let me see if there's something good in there. Which is all good. Um, say it as the 13th. Second is 13 and 1. Then, it's so like the seven days passed, and the following night I had a dream. So this is Ezra, right? Having visions of, in particular, this chapter, of the Lord returning the war in heaven, because Ezra saw that as well. But the prophets seen the same visions, man. The majority of the prophets seen the same vision. You see? So this is our forefather, Ezra, having a vision of the return of our Lord and Savior, our Mashiach, our Shai. what? fashion he's coming back when he comes back man you see it says right because when you read the previous chapter if i'm not mistaken that's when the angel told him to wait fast seven more days eat, eat the um the, 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 the um the flowers and the things of that nature you see he was gonna give him more visions and things of that nature right verse two in my dream which is he saw it was a vision that he was having of the of the the, 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 the end i saw a wind coming out of the sea and stirring up great waves. She just said a wind. Right? I forget, I forget what it's saying in KJV. But um let me keep going. It says as I watched the wind brought it brought with it out of the sea. Right the ski the sea is referring to the, the, the Shemayams. You see? Because the, the sky is was it, 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 it all around us is, is waters man. You see? Um, what is it? You got errors of what that shit called? Because you got this Jake, his name is Moses West, the Moses West Foundation, and he created this machine where he literally pulls water out of the air, out of thin air, it, it, it turns it into in the water, man. So the waters is referring to, I meant Salaki, the sea is referring to, you know, the, the, you know, because cause, he's going to be coming from, from the heavens, man. You see? It says, and I, as I watched, the wind brought with it out of the sea what looked like a man. So this is talking about Yahweh Shai, right? It says, and he was flying on the clouds, right? The clouds in the scriptures was, was referring to the chariots, man. You see, the cloud, you go into the word cloud, it means to, to conceal or to, to cloak, right? So that's the chariots, man. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm gonna turn it. it said, when he turned his face, everything he looked at began to tremble. She could he the Lord is an austere man. Verse 4, and when he spoke, everyone who heard his voice melted like wax in the fire. Cause that's talking about the, the, the mouth of the chariots, you see? Right? Just like the movie Independence Day, so you can understand. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, come on, let me read it. Verse uh, 5, I looked again and saw a crowd too large to count. There were people gathered together from all parts of the world to fight against the man who had come up out of the sea. Talk about the heavens, right? And the, 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 the crowd that too large to count is talking about the heathens, the other nations. And you got Jake in there too, but them niggas is heathens too. You see? Because they don't have the wisdom, understanding, and knowledge of the heavenly father. So they liken them to heathens. So they are fucking heathens. See, this is what our forefather Ezra saw. He saw the United Nations, 
You see, he saw Ukraine and 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 and, 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 and Russia and and China and Japan. Everybody who has you know air superiority, all these Israel. You see, he saw the nations. Verse six. Then I watched a man carve out a high mountain and fly up on it, and that's talking about a, a chariot, man. Right, a so-called UFO, so you can understand. It said, I tried to see the place or the region from which the mountain was carved, but I couldn't because it's, 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 it's a huge chariot, like a father ship. You see, like the apostle said, the elect might get beamed up in a ship pursuant to Revelation 11, chapter verse 8. Then I saw that all the people who had come together to make war against him were terrified, but they still prepared to fight him. Right, they yeah, right. They were so afraid, but yet thus fight. Because the Heavenly Father going to put the Spirit on them, man. Because prophecy has to be fulfilled. That's a part of prophecies, man. You see? It says, verse 9, When the man this like when the man saw the great crowd advancing to attack him, and the man is Yahweh Shai, he did not take up any weapons. The only thing I saw was what looked like a scream of fire coming out of his mouth. It's talking about out of the mouth of the chariot. I think Thessalonians speak about that. He's going to destroy you with the with the, with the, with the spirit of his mouth. And the brightness, roughly paraphrased, the spirit of his mouth is talking about the prophets, but his manifold is also talking about the, the, the laser beams that the tree is going to shoot upon these people, man. You see? It says, he sent a flaming wind from his lips. Right? It's not going to be he, like a physical fire come out the Lord's mouth, breathing out fire, man. Right? This is metaphorically speaking. Right? It says, and a storm of sparks from his tongue, the stream of the fire, the flaming wind, and the great storm combined and swelled down on the crowd that was coming to attack him and burned them all up. In a single moment, that crowd, too large to count, vanished. Right? Because the script said, nothing will perceive in the KJV but dust and smell of smoke. Right? Just like the movie War of the World with Tom Cruise, the newer one. I ain't see the old one, man. I seen the one with Tom Cruise where the cherries were zapping people and they were turning to fucking dust. Uh, I forget, I forget what the word is, like dehydration or something like that. Um, it says, oh, 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 look what it says, it says in here. The crowd too large to count vanished and there was nothing left but powdery ashes and the smell of smoke. I was shocked when I saw what had happened. So I saw forefather Ezra, when he seen this, he was like, oh, oh, shit. You see? You see? But but that's the point, man. I ain't going to go on too long. I just wanted to. Go go into this quick lesson. I pray this is edifying. I give all glory and praise to call lawyer by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh. Shai by Hashem Akasha Dash. That man is the apostle of the great millstone with the world. Shalom, Wakasala, Bakiyom, Wakfalabal, Shalom.